Magician named Robert Angier invites members of his audience to check thoroughly the machine for his next act. A man, Alfred Borden, heads below the stage and waits as Angier's act continues. Angier enters into the machine as bolts of electricity can be seen around him. Audience blinded by the light, below machine opens, dropping Angier into a water tank in front of Borden under the stage. The lock traps Angier inside. Before the stage, the audience is left confused at Angier's disappearance. Angier trapped in the water tank begs Borden for help as he drowns. Later stage engineer, John Cutter can be seen standing before the jury. He states the water tank was used for earlier trick and then removed. Having seen Borden going below the stage, he accuses him of setting up the water tank under the trap door to finish Angier. Jury unconvinced demands Cutter to explain the method of Angier's illusion called the real transported man. Cutter requests, revealing would make the act worthless. The judge suggests Cutter can explain secrets to him in private without revealing the trick to the public so he can make his decision with complete information. Later, Borden is imprisoned under high security due to his skills as an escape artist. A solicitor Owens visits Borden, requests him to teach the transported man trick to an amateur magician. Lord Caldlow and Exchange Caldlow will raise Borden's daughter to build trust. Owens hands him Angier's diary before leaving. Borden reads Angier's travels to Colorado in his diary. Scene shifts to two years prior. Angier arrives at Colorado Springs. There, the whole town has the electricity. He walks to the mountains to meet Nikola Tesla and blocked by an electrified fence. Tesla's assistant, Ali, recognizes him but refuses to let him meet Tesla. Angier tells Ali to come to the hotel if they change their minds. Angier reads Borden's journal at the hotel and thinks back to when they were just stagehands for a magician named Milton. Angier and Borden act like members of the audience who have been chosen to bind Julia, Milton's assistant, during a performance. Angier kisses Julia's leg as he ties her legs, causing her to smile. Julia is dropped into a water tank before the draperies fall, concealing the tank from the crowd's view. The shades rise, uncovering Julia securely out of the tank. After the show, Borden grumbles about Milton's doll deceives behind the stage. He denies knowing a trick that no other magician can pull off. Shaper provokes Borden and Angier to sort out Chung Ling Su's goldfish bowl stunt promising an opportunity to perform for the top dramatic specialist, Mr. Ackerman, in the event that they do. Cutter scolds Borden for potentially putting Julia in danger by tying the Lankford double to Julia's wrists on the show. Borden demands that his bunch is better. With Borden out of the picture, Shaper then reprimands Angier for kissing Julia's legs in front of an audience, which could uncover to the crowd that she's his better half. At the Tinley, Borden and Angier watch Chung Ling Su's show, where he invokes objects including a fishbowl, out of nowhere. Borden thinks that Chung Ling Su is hiding his props by pretending to be old and sitting in a hunched position. That night, Angier attempts the stunt Borden, guaranteed yet finds it challenging to stroll with a fishbowl under his garments. Angier can't comprehend living a lie, as Borden expected Chung Ling Su does. Angier asserts that he only changed his name to protect his family from his theatrical career's embarrassment. Borden meets Sarah and her nephew while assisting at a small show. Sarah's nephew cries for the bird that disappears during the act. The boy is convinced that the original bird is dead, even when the bird miraculously returns. After the show, Borden returns the living bird with the others. Just as the boy had said, he opens the pedestal where the first bird vanished and was killed. He meets with Sarah and the kid outside, commending the kid's insight, subsequent to eating with them. Borden strolls Sarah to her condo. Yet, she will not give him access. He walks out of the house as she enters it, and then he magically reappears in her kitchen. Cutter shows the judge the machine that was used for Angier's last show, in the water tank where he drowned at the moment. Angier was unable to escape, because a real lock was installed in place of the water tank's trick lock. Cutter explains that this water tank has a connection to both Angier and Borden. In one more flashback years prior, during another of Milton's shows, Angier and Borden tie up Julia for the water tank stunt. Borden and Julia share a look, consenting to utilize the Langford twofold. Julia is lifted over the tank then, at that point dropped. Shaper remains as an afterthought, hatchet close by for good measure. Everyone becomes concerned when, after a minute, the curtains remain drawn. Julia is still trapped inside the tank when Cutter opens the curtains. Shaper breaks the glass to save Julia, yet he's past the point of no return. Julia has suffocated inside the water tank. Days after her passing, 
Angier plunges his face in the water, expecting to feel how she felt in her last minutes. At her burial service, Angier requests what Ty Borden tied around his better half's wrist, and Borden lies, saying that he neglected prior to leaving with a statement of regret. Weeks after the fact, Sarah tracks down Borden with an odd man, Mr. Fallon, in her condo. Borden exclaims with glee that Fallon has provided him with the necessary equipment for his first show. Sarah stresses over their funds, and she's pregnant to uncover that. Borden shares his slug gets stunt with Sarah, showing that the shot isn't in the weapon when discharged. Borden's show, be that as it may, is loaded up with booze from the crowd. Borden, fed up with their complaints, fires a gun at them, which silences the room. He picks a worker to fire him with the weapon, not seeing the man putting one more slug inside. Under his disguise, the man is Angier, who is still grieving. The strain loosens up with Angier requesting, which tie he attached his significant other with. Fallon endeavors to take the firearm from Angier, however he inadvertently pulls the trigger. Borden screams in pain as Angier leaves after being shot, as indicated by Borden's diary. He came clean with Angier that evening. Angier is angered, still unconvinced that Borden doesn't realize which hitch he utilized the evening of Julius passing. Sarah tends to Borden's barely healed wound days later. With two fingers missing, he can't perform many deceives other than whatever he's been keeping, the one he'll be associated with. In the interim, Shaper and Angier cooperate, gathering materials for their show and employing Olivia Wenscombe as Angier's collaborator. Cutter creates a device that vanishes a dove without harming the bird. They show Mr. Merritt, the owner of the theater, where their first performance will be, the trick. Angier amazes the audience on his show by removing two people's handkerchiefs from their pockets. However, Angier is not pleased with their response. When Angier shows the dove to the audience after the intermission, they are disappointed because they thought it would be the usual trick. To his surprise, one of the two people, Angier, asks to hold the birdcage as Borden. Borden accidentally sets off the cage's trap too soon, killing the dove inside and breaking the other audience member's fingers as the two lock eyes. The occurrence leaves Mr. Merritt furious, dropping their show for good. Cutter suggests that they go to a science exhibit to get ideas for their new act now that their show is over. In Colorado Springs, Angier translates Borden's diary when Backstreet goes along with him. Angier professes to have found the key to Borden's most prominent stunt, a machine made by Tesla which he desires to gain. Inquisitive, Backstreet takes Angier to show their examination. Up in the mountain, Angier sees the entire town's lights go out. Tesla gave the town power in return for utilizing the generators at whatever point his analyses required it, like this evening, surrounding them. The field enlightens various remote lights, which outfit power from the generators 15 miles away. Months before this, Angier initially saw Nikola Tesla's innovation during his science display. Angier first meets Ali here, who despite Thomas Edison's smear campaign, insists on the safety of Tesla's works. Borden is in the audience, looking at the lightning strikes inside the hall while the others hide. Angier follows him outside the display and finds Borden's significant other and child girl. Desire filled him, seeing the family he might have had with Julia. Yet when he peruses Borden's taken diary, he peruses that Borden aged for opportunity, notwithstanding the family he fabricated. At the jail, Jess, presently a young lady, visits her dad. Fallon provides Borden with confirmation that the court intends to seize Jess from him. Realizing this, Borden chooses to acknowledge Owen's deal. Soon thereafter, a watchman insults Borden that his abilities aren't sufficient to get away from jail. Borden diverts the gatekeeper with a ball, which cumbersomely rolls off his hand. The gatekeeper taunts him, not seeing Borden affixing his foot to the table. Angier's finally permitted entry into Tesla's laboratory two years earlier, where electricity arcs loudly within a platform. Nikola Tesla emerges through the raging bolts. While Ali turns on a light bulb in Angier's free hand, he gives him a handshake. His palm is illuminated by a bulb that transfers energy from their bodies. During lunch, Tesla perceives Angier's fixation, encouraging him to return home and fail to remember his thoughts. At the point when Angier denies, Tesla yields as he previously started constructing the machine. Months before this, Angier sees Borden's outcome in the paper. Olivia cautions him about his fanatical retaliation against Borden. Angier, on the other hand, argues that the man who caused his wife's death is living the life he wanted. That night, Angier describes Borden's freshest stunt that bewildered him, where he enters one wardrobe and promptly leaves another. 
Not set in stone to figure out how it's finished, realizing that he can sell it better, Shaper demands boarding, utilizes a twofold. However, Angier is persuaded it is quite difficult. Angier agrees to find a double because there are no other options. They meet Gerald Root, a drunk former actor who resembles Angier. Cutter promises that he could make it work. Work, despite Angier's disappointment with the actor. After a month while they're rehearsing the stunt, Olivia and Angier tease and kiss, invigorated for their huge show. Cutter shows them the new Root, who gets drunk and walks to the stage. Be that as it may, while he's performing, Root can in any case move as carefully as Angier. That night, Angier gives the crowd the new moved man. Angier throws his cap over the air, then, at that point, enters one entryway on the stage and emerges to get it on the contrary entryway. Root enjoys the cheers from the audience as he kisses Olivia while the real Angier is under the stage. After the show, Angier communicates disappointment over being beneath the stage once the group cheers. He contemplates whether he and Root can switch before the presentation, yet Shaper questions in the event that Root can imitate his acting skill to draw the crowd's expectation. Finding Root intoxicated, Shaper pushes him out, dreading somebody would see him, which would obliterate their demonstration. In the hope of properly celebrating with Angier, Olivia gives him a solo kiss. However, Angier is occupied, as yet finding the demonstration subpar. Expecting to figure out how Borden makes it happen, Angier requests that Olivia spy on Borden, recommending that she come clean to procure his trust. Olivia is against the thought, evading Angier when he inclines for a kiss. In any case, she concurs at any rate. Tesla presents his invention to Angier years later. The machine produces electricity until it explodes in light with his hat, yet the cap stays as though nothing occurred. A long time back, when Olivia visits Borden in his studio, she admits that Angier sent her to get familiar with his mysteries. Olivia asserts that she truly desires to switch sides and has had enough of Angier's attitude. Root, on the other hand, asks for more money just before a second performance to keep performing, not having any desire to gamble with their show. Angier consents to pay him more until they get Borden's insider facts. One evening, be that as it may, Root purposely defers showing up in front of an audience, destroying their exhibition. He gets this idea from a man he met at a bar who said that the magician has more power over the double hired for the show. Borden was the man at the bar. On another show, when Angier ventures into the secret entryway, the pad under the stage is eliminated, making his fall break his leg. Rather than Root at the stage, he tracks down Borden. Borden arises onto the stage, giving the crowd a chuck. In the stage, the alcoholic Root is introduced, bound and choked, as the group giggles at him. As Borden leaves the stage, he makes fun of Angier and gets cheers from the audience. Angier confronts Olivia because he believes she assisted Borden in sabotage. Olivia asserts that she only carried out his orders. Angier is still not convinced that Borden has a second person, despite Olivia's assurances. To demonstrate her faithfulness, Olivia gives him Borden's diary, yet she wants to bring it back the following day. Angier reveals that he only cares about exposing Borden's secret when Olivia reminds him that his wife will never return. Given the man he has become, the statement even surprises him to save Olivia the difficulty. He breaks into Borden's studio, causing it to appear to be that he took the diary from that point. One night, after an effective show, Borden finds Angier following him. Fallon becomes concerned and also follows them. To excel, Angier cuts into the rear entryway where Fallon follows him. It breaks as Fallon climbs the stairs, and he falls into a large box that Cutter has locked him in. Angier demands Borden's method for the transported man while holding Fallon hostage as a hostage. All things being equal, Borden thinks of him a hint. Borden is given a shovel by Angier, who takes the clue and tells him to dig to save Fallon's life. At the clinic, Angier and Shaper really look at the note, seeing the word Tesla. Excited to learn about Borden's secrets, angrier beams. Be that as it may, Shaper is fed up with being a pawn in Angier's fixation, choosing to leave the performer. At supper, Sarah is astonished to see Borden bring along Fallon and Olivia. Borden rejoices as he performs a brand new trick, to bury himself each night alive. Unmoved, Sarah proposes Fallon and Olivia leave, which they do. Sarah sits by herself with her husband and listens to Borden rant about how he almost lost something important to him, but he won't say what it is. In the wake of seeing Tesla's machine flop in Colorado, Angier peruses the part in Borden's diary when Olivia originally came to him. 
Olivia was irate to be shipped off Borden, feeling objectified and sold out by Angier. As the days went by, Borden realizes he was unable to believe Olivia yet fell head over heels for her in any case. The diary uncovers that Olivia coordinated Borden to root, then at that point, established the diary to lead Angier into a pointless pursuit. Borden, in his diary, ridicules Angier for feeling that he'd uncover his mysteries recorded as a hard copy. Angier grasps the scratch pad in his grasp, his eyes red out of frustration. Angier makes his way to the laboratory and makes the accusation that Tesla used his money to pay for his own experiment rather than build his machine. He takes steps to carry Edison's men to them. However, Tesla guarantees him that he constructed the machine. It simply hasn't worked as planned. Expecting to obtain an alternate outcome, Tesla utilizes Stray's feline on the machine. Electricity bolts surround the cat, but nothing happens. The cat meows. Frustrated, Angier leaves, the feline rushing to the exit with him. Angier can hear the field cat screeching outside. Following the sound, he discovers a slew of his hat scattered about. The cat in alley is chasing a similar looking cat. Tesla effectively made clones. This implies his machine works. With this disclosure, Tesla guarantees Angier to consummate it. In the meantime, Borden discovers Sarah making a drink to quench her thirst. Sarah doesn't believe Borden when he says he will love only her and Jess. Later, Fallon and Borden meet at the park. Borden begs Fallon to convince Sarah that he loves her and suggests that Fallon take Jess to the zoo instead. Then, at that point, Borden visits Olivia, who welcomes him with a kiss. Seeing his face, be that as it may, she reminds him to fail to remember his family while he's with her. Angier discovers Tesla's decrepit laboratory in Colorado, believing that his venture is destroyed. Angier looks at from the inn. Be that as it may, the inn chief shows him the bundle Tesla sent. Tesla explains in his letter how he fled Edison's men who came to burn down his laboratory. He guarantees him that the machine will work, yet exhorts him not to utilize it, as it will just bring him hopelessness. His admonition is overlooked, be that as it may. Angier enthusiastically tests the machine, avoiding potential risk in the event that there are still crimps all the while. He turns on the machine and enters, allowing the sparks of the electricity to fill him. In the present, Borden arrives at the finish of Angier's journal, where he taunts him, knowing that he's perusing the journal while in jail. The following day, Borden stands up to Owens, who guarantees him that the journal is genuine. Borden hands Owens his notes, yet they're deficient. Before handing them the complete notes, he demands that Jess be thanked. Due to his affair with Olivia, Borden's marriage breaks down months earlier. Sarah's burnt out on Borden's falsehoods and mysteries. She requests to know reality to demonstrate his adoration for her. However, he declines, admitting that he didn't cherish her at that point. Sarah hangs herself in the middle of Borden's workshop because she is tired of his lies. In the meantime, Shaper meets with Angier in an unwanted theater. Angier uncovers the genuine shipped man, which he plans to perform for a show. With Shopper's assistance, Angier presents the demonstration to Ackerman. Angier enters the enclosure, encompassed by snapping electrical discharges. He vanishes before their eyes just to show up behind Ackerman. Ackerman agrees to fund their show after being amazed by the presentation. One evening, Olivia admits that Sarah needed to meet her the day preceding. She passed on. Sarah needed to uncover something to Olivia. However, Olivia was hesitant to confront her. Presently, Olivia asks Borden what Sarah would have said. Borden claims that he never adored Sarah, essentially not completely. He says that he loves Olivia instead, but she is not happy. Before she leaves, Olivia illuminates him regarding Angier's return, alarming Borden. On the primary evening of Angier's show, Borden joins the crowd. Angier uncovers Tesla's machine that fills the stage with lighting, leaving them in wonder. Angier strolls inside and vanishes before the crowd's eyes. He shows up at the gallery behind the crowd, procuring him a wildly energetic applause. Borden becomes terrified by this and yells at Fallon to outwit Angier. Fallon stalks Angier's visually impaired partners as they transport hardware out of the theater still. They can't sort out his stunt. The evening of Angier's passing, Borden inspects the machine alongside the crowd, then invades the set. He sees Angier fall into the water tank as he goes under the stage. Borden attempts to tear it open with a wrench, yet all the same he's past the point of no return. Cutter steps in and discovers Angier dead. As a result of these occurrences, Borden received the death penalty for Angier's murder. Borden is delighted to see Jess in prison, 
despite her initial lack of interest in her new guardian. At the point when he raises his eyes to Master Caldlow, he staggered to see Angier's face gazing back at him, angrier grins, and says that Borden's obsession was what brought him there. Borden takes steps to avoid Jess with regard to their fight, which Angier ignores. Now that he can remove somebody valuable to Borden, Borden makes a deal with his secret to get the transported man, but Angier doesn't care. He tears the note apart. Borden asks for his and his little girl's life, however it fails to be noticed. Angier takes Jess to his estate, where Shaper hangs tight for him. In dismay and wrath, Shaper requests replies on how he's as yet alive. Shaper walks out on Angie, at fault for sending Borden, an honest man, to be hanged while his girl winds up with the one who sent him there. Cutter asks Angier sarcastically where he wants to take the Tesla machine. Angier vows to ensure the machine is at no point ever utilized in the future. In jail, Borden apologizes to Fallon for going excessively far and for how he treated Sarah. Borden advises Fallon to carry on with his life for the two of them, throwing his elastic ball to his companion as he bids farewell. Over the course of the following couple of days, Shaper visits Jess in the house. Then, at that point, conveys the machine back to the unwanted theater. Borden strolls his last moves toward be executed for the wrongdoings he didn't carry out. Simultaneously, the machine is brought down under the old performance center stage. It is pushed away into a dim room by Cutter and Angier. As his last rites are read to him, Borden is being prepared for his hanging. As his final words, Borden says abracadabra before the hidden entrance is pulled. After Shaper leaves the theater, Angier hears another person in obscurity. An elastic ball bobs to his hand, diverting him from the one who shoots him on the chest. Borden's face is revealed beneath the hat as the ball rolls back to the shooter. Reality gradually sunrises on Angier. Borden has a twin sibling camouflaged as Fallen. The twins exchange between the jobs of Fallen and Borden, alternating for their enchanted demonstration and going to the extent that severing fingers to match the sibling that Angier took shots at. Each of them gets to live half a life this way. One of the siblings, the one before Angier currently, adored Sarah while the other cherished Olivia. They forfeited living portion of one another's life for their presentation. Angier, bleeding out, reveals how he used Tesla's machine to make duplicates of himself and killed them all. Borden, however, has lost interest because Angier's entire sacrifice was pointless. Angier uncovers he simply needed to see the crowd's wonderment upon his show in his perishing breath. Angier falls back, capitulating to his injury, lastly biting the dust unequivocally, with Angier and Master Caldlow gone. Shaper brings Jess into his guardianship, showing her the bird enclosure stunt. Despite having lost half of his life, his fingers, his wife, and his brother, the living Borden embraces his deceitful nature and returns to his daughter, reuniting with her and keeping his promise to his brother.